Who are you angry at? Everyone. Everything. What do you do when you get angry? I pipe up! <clears throat> Fuck my lungs with small. Do you have an outlet to release this anger if you can't get high? No. I don't want to lash out. Release this, this deep fucking hate I have for everyone. Everything just a fucking purge. All this shit that eats me up. Purge. Interesting term. You may have a chance to purge soon. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, or praise his honor and glory be unto Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone that taught us the truth to rule well. Peace and love, salutations and mercy be unto Yehovah Lakakim that are the priests and the prophets of Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, and that are hazarding your lives to push this truth, the true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Bible prophesying, heralding in the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, magnifying and praising the true names of our Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, whose name is Yahweh Shai, to the rest of you believers that are out there, that make up the rest of the hopeful elect, you Akim and few Akwathium, that are waiting for these last and final prophecies, and for the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, Peace be unto you and Shalom. And may Yahweh Bashim Yahweh keep you in these dangerous times that we're in. A scripture that is being read a lot recently, you know, is the book of 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And one of the reasons that that scripture gets read a lot is because we're in the last days. And how do you know that you're in the last days? It says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh. And these are all things that we're seeing. All right, these times are very dangerous. They're going to be difficult to maneuver if you don't walk in the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and in the faith of his only begotten son, taking heed to this word and living according to it. Because by way of these prophecies that are in this book and the words that are written in this book, it helps you to have foresight and knowledge of the things that are coming, why they are happening, and how to escape them. All right, a lot of people are gonna lose their lives in this time. A lot of people are gonna be prone to violence and incontinency, lawlessness within this time. As if niggas wasn't purging enough, <laughs> you know, the state of Illinois has issued an elimination of cash bail for violent offenders. And they're saying, you know, legislators, you know, are saying that this bill reminds them of something out of a purge. Matter of fact, I'm going to quote this from an article from Zero Hedge, which the title of this article reads end of days near as illinois set to eliminate cash bail for violent offenders so this is what one of the officials had to say a no cash bail for the 12 offenses is another reason residents should leave the state what could happen after the law goes into effect reminds us of a scene from the dystopian action horror film the purge <laughs> So you wasn't purging enough, you know, so they had to release, you know, the offenders. And um, 
it does bring back remembrance from the movie called The First Perch, you know, where people were fleeing, you know, um, they were fleeing New York, you know, and um, the government was hiring, you know, uh, breakers of the law, lewd and base fellows, <laughs> you know, borrowing that from the scriptures from the book of Acts 17 and 5. It says, but the Jews, which believed not, moved with envy, took unto them certain lewd fellows of a baser sort, and gathered a company, and set all the city on an uproar, and insulted the house of Jason, and sought to bring them out to the people. Which when you go into the baser sort, I believe it's uh, something dealing with the Agora, you know, because you had men that just lingered around around the marketplace you know and just hung out like like niggas do on the street excuse my language but when you go through the hood you see niggas hanging out at gas stations you see them hanging out in front of liquor stores you know they're usually selling drugs you know or plotting and scheming you know you'll see videos of somebody roll up on them they'll shoot up them they'll shoot up the whole spot <laughs> you know, so these are the end of the kind of individuals during the time of Acts that these wicked and envious Jews hired to go around and persecute, you know, those that were believers. Well, you have the American government doing something similar in regards of letting out, you know, violent criminals out of the criminal system. Now, if you're a first time offender, Nine times out of ten, you're going to offend again. They got something called the usual suspect. Because if you're prone to violence and criminality in particular activities, nine times out of ten, you're going to be a secondary offender for the same criminal activities. So if you went to jail for assault, if you went to jail for you know, selling drugs, if you went to jail for second degree murder, nine times out of 10, you'll commit the same violent crimes again. So there's a method behind their madness. And that's the reason why we quote all the time, woe unto him that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. But these things must happen for prophecy's sake. When you go into the scriptures, which I'll be reading the scriptures from the Amplified Version, this is Luke 21 and 9. It says, when you hear of wars and disturbances, civil unrest, revolts, uprising, do not panic for these things must take place first, but the end will not come immediately. So these things must happen. Now, going back and reading that same scripture, but within the new, uh, I'm sorry, the King James Version, it says, But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must come to pass. But the end is not by and by. Now, when you go into the Greek and you look up the word commotion, the word there is akakastasia. And it says instability, a state of disorder disturbances, confusion. So what you're going to see is a state of disorder. You're going to see a state of lawlessness. All right. Um, you're going to have criminals that is going to be released from the criminal system. And they're going to go out in the streets and they're going to do what they do best. <laughs> Let's put it that way. You know, and we've mentioned this before that in these times of trouble, these prisoners aren't going to be contained all right these prisoners will be released back out into society and when they're re released back out into society what do you think that they're going to do now going back to this article because this is the the uh the kind of people that's going to be released back into society the counter signal report safety act it's spelled s-a-f-e-t act is cash bail and includes 12 non-detainable offenses 
second degree murder. So if you hit somebody with your car, you know, and killed them, you know, then they'll release you. Aggravated battery, all right, and an arson without bail, as well as drug-induced homicide, kidnapping. So if you tried to kidnap somebody, or if you have kidnapped somebody, they're going to release you. Burglary, robbery, intimidation, aggravated DUI, aggravated fleeing and eluding. You know, you ran from the cops, all right, with your, with your car. Drug offenses and threatening of public officials. What is that saying? Order ab chaos. Order out of chaos. So they know what the hell to, that they're doing. Will County State Attorney James uh, Glasgow warned the end of days is coming in the new year when the bill takes effect. And 2020 has been an MF. -er. So imagine how uh, it's not 2020, 2022 has been an MF. -er. So imagine how 2023 is going to be. All right. We're in the last days, man. Will County is located in the northeastern part of the state and is the second largest county in the six country Chicago metro area. Glasgow Continued Safety Act will destroy the city and state of Illinois. I don't know, don't even understand how the people will support it. Can't realize that. So basically, they're going to let pretty much this, this violence increase within that state. And there's a method behind what they're trying to do. All right. But anyways, you know, this has been a hot topic in the news. And hey, man, these these prophecies have been on fire, bro. All right. They've been on fire. And the, the news lately has been, there's been so many topics really to go into. Now I'm going to end on this one because you're wondering, you know, what, what can I do to be preserved within this time if all of this chaos is going to be going on? Well, you have to continue in your faith and good works. And yeah, how about Shmi Abashai? Hey, remember what it states within the scriptures. When you go into scriptures like the book of uh, Psalms, the 34th chapter in verse seven, it says, rest in Yahweh and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyselves because of him that prospereth in his way uh, of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. All right. Now going over to 34 and seven, it says the angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So you gotta keep continue to walk in the in the fear of Yahweh by Shemia Mashai and having faith in good works. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai will protect you and will keep you in these times, although these di these days will be difficult and perilous. Second Ezra 9 and 7. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. See? So when all of this chaos increase, because they're going to go out in the streets, they're going to murder. They're going to kidnap. All right. They're going to do more DUIs. They're going to do more aggravated battery. They're going to sell more drugs. All right. They're going to do all of these violent crimes that got them convicted to begin with. And they're going to do it even more now, seeing that it's not punished or penalized and that they can walk away with a no cash bail. This is going to cause violence to increase. This is going to cause criminality to increase. 
This is gonna cause chaos. But what do the elites want? Order ab KO. They want these violent things to happen so that they can be justified with coming with what they wanna come with. And what they wanna come with is that sword. So times are gonna get very difficult and hard to bear. But if you continue to walk in the fear of Yahweh, and if you have faith in good works and continue within this gospel, within this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Bible, then Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will preserve you from these dangerous and difficult times. So judgment is coming, but walk in the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh giving diligence to make your calling and election sure, working out your own salvation with fear and trembling so that you can escape these judgments. With that, I truly hope that this lesson was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory be unto you. Hawa Bashim Yahweh Peace and love, salutations, and mercy be unto the hopeful elect. A shalom, a baba, ball, and kwam bakayam. Shalom.